Good afternoon, everyone. It's September 23rd, and it's time for another youth devotion for our middle schoolers and high schoolers. So let us pray and get started. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day. Thank you for continually watching over us and keeping us in your care. Thank you for your love and your devotion to us, God, and hearing our prayers. We pray for all the youth right now. Continue to be with them and guide them and keep them safe and healthy and uh, pray for peace in their homes and, um, God, that you will provide um, and continue to um, keep us during this um, time that we're in. Lord, hear our word and uh, we just thank you and hear our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, today we have a great lesson um, as we, a couple weeks ago, we talked about getting in God's word. Well, today I'd like to talk about um, not only being hearers of God's word and getting in God's word, but be doers of God's word. So there's got to be a point in our Christian lives, those that have received Christ and are um, living in that new life as a Christian, that we not only just hear God's word, but we begin doing God's word. Um, that doing God's word becomes just as important as hearing it. Uh, and it um, changes who we are and our behaviors and our attitudes. See, true belief causes Christians to live out their faith uh, according to God's word. Uh, we can't passively just hear the word of God, but uh, we have, have to have actions that follow uh, reading God's word and have a genuine change of heart as a Christian. So it's not just about hearing sermons and reading a scripture, nothing wrong with those things, but are you putting these things into action? Are you actually becoming a doer of the word that you're hearing, of the scriptures that you're learning about uh, in Bible study. Um, it's just not about hearing all the time, but it's about living it out and having that action behind it. So our scripture today comes from James 1, 22 and 25. It's a very uh, known scripture and a lot of us have read it before. James 1, 22 and 25. And I'm going to read that for us uh, today. And it says, Do not merely listen to the word, so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks in the mirror at his face and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues to do it not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. So I have three things I want to share about in this scripture to help us become more doers of the word and not just hearers. Nothing wrong with studying the word, but we've got to begin living it out um, as a Christian. Behavior changes, the changes in our attitude and what the word um, is telling us to do. You know, the word is living and active, and that's what the word, uh, the Bible says. And so if it's living and active, then it should be living and active in our lives as well. So the first thing, don't forget what the scriptures say. Don't forget what the scriptures say. Uh, we are to begin um, praying through scriptures. That begin, that's a way that we can memorize scripture and learn scripture a little bit more. Pray through it as you're having prayer time. Memorize scripture. Um, don't forget that uh, when you memorize scripture, it helps you remember what it said and it helps you recite it and it gets in your soul and in your heart. Um, and then you will remember what it said so that you can act it out and live it out. When you memorize scripture, God will bring back to memory those scriptures to help you um, in a situation that you um, may not um, know how to deal with to help you with it and to help you um, have the action behind it. Um, so pray through scripture that gets in your soul. It helps you memorize scripture. Um, and don't forget what you heard um, and know that 
God is there to remind you what the scripture said. So don't forget what the scripture said when you study it. Number two, the, the word tells us to uh, listen intently to the word. It says it in the scripture, um, but whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues it, and not only for, does not forget it, but heard it and begins doing it. So we are to look intently into the word. And what that means is when we take time um, to listen to the word and not just let it go over our heads or out one ear and out the other, but really listen to what God is saying to you. That's when our hearts begin changing. Um, and and uh, when our hearts change, that's when we choose to start living out what God's called us to do. Um, our minds begin changing. Um, when we listen intently and hear what God is trying to say us. And that's also part of that prayer. When you pray through scripture, God will tell you how to live it out. Um, so when studying the Bible, it's important not only to understand the word, but also to consider uh, your heart and how you're hearing it. How are you hearing the truth? Are you just sitting, listening, and it goes out one ear or the other? Or are you really taking it in? Are you absorbing the word? Um, in other words, the truth bring, um, begins to take root in your life. And when it takes root in your life, it will bear fruit. So just like you do in school, you got to listen to the um, lectures and um, hear what the teacher is saying. Allow it to get in you so that when you have a test, you will be able to um, pass that test. So listen intently to what God is saying to you in God's word and pray through it, memorize it and ask what he wants you to do. So the first thing, don't forget what the scripture says by memorizing. Number two, listen intently and find out what God is trying to do to change you in order to live out his word. And the last thing, number three, is that it says, if we become doers of the word, you will be blessed by living God's word out. It says that in the end of the scripture. So what I wanted to say uh, about that is that obedience blink brings blessings. Obedience brings blessings. See, the Christian life is one of active obedience. It's not just, hey, we're saved, nothing wrong with that. But God wants us to begin being transformed and become more like him. Um, and so when you hear God's word, we are to respond in obedience, to be obedient to God. All the Bible study in the world is meaningless if you don't do anything with what he's given you and what you've learned. And if there's no transformation in your actions, we can study the word all day long, but if there's no change, there's nothing what is there going to be? So we are to allow the word to transform our hearts and our spirits um, and what his word says so that we can be obedient to him. God desires for us to be obedient and for our lives to be transformed. Um, he wants to bless us uh, by our obedience, um, but we got to let the word transform us. Um, we, um, this will grow us closer to him and you got to know that it's not just things when we're blessed, but blessings are also when we begin spiritually maturing in God. That's a blessing that will come um, by being obedient and living out the word that he has for us. So how to be more of a, a doer than a hearer? Don't forget what the word says by memorizing it, getting it into your soul so God can bring it back to memory when you need it. Number two, listen intently to what the word is saying. Uh, let it change your heart and begin transforming you. Um, and, and don't just let it go out one ear and out the other. Let it, um, uh, let it begin changing you from the inside out. And then number three, you will be blessed by living out God's word. Uh, there's blessings when you are obedient. Amen. So I hope that this will help you not just hear God's word, not just study it, but begin being doers of his word, that you will take time to ask God, how can I begin living out what your scripture says? Amen. So I pray that this will help you. 
um, and that God's word uh, will begin transforming your mind, your spirit, your actions, your behavior to be more like him. So let us pray and thank God for his word. God, thank you so much for this word. Thank you for teaching us, God, not to just be hearers, but to be doers, God, and that they're both important, Lord. But in the end, our Christian life is action. And so we pray, God, that you will allow us to put action behind your word and what we what we believe. And so I just pray for all um, the young people on this, God, or anybody that's listening, God, that you will um, show them how to live out your word, that they will begin memorizing it. They will begin really listening to your word and what you're telling them to do. And God, that they know that when they're, when they're obedient, you will bless them for their obedience. Um, we love you, God, and we need you. And we ask that you transform us from the inside out. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Have a great week and I'll see you all Friday night on the middle school and high school hangout at 730 on Zoom. God bless.